Hello everyone. Welcome to BPCC 102. And in this particular coursework, we will be discussing about the subject field of psychology much more in a specified way, that is biopsychology. So your BPCC 102 coursework pertains the concepts of biopsychology and different elements that are within this concept. So let's see the coursework that we have planned ahead. Uh, I hope you are able to see the diagrammatic representation of the course plan. So you can see that in this particular unit, we have four blocks and six units each. Right. So we have block one, block two, block three and block four. And in total, we have uh, six units. So in block one, you can notice that it is more of an introductory lesson. So this is concerned with introduction to biopsychology. And over here, we will be learning about the basics of biopsychology. In unit one, we learn about introduction to biopsychology, where, where you will be introduced to the concepts that are concerned with this unit. In unit two, you will be introduced to neuron and nerve impulses. Whereas when we come to block two, we talk about nervous system System, specifically our central nervous system and our peripheral nervous system. Moving forward, our block three, which discusses hemispheric specialization. So this is also known as brain lateralization. So we will learn what different parts of brain play different roles and actions in terms of facilitating the tasks that we do or the activities that we engage in. All right. And lastly, we have our block four, which is the endocrine system. And over here, we will be primarily concerned with one of the aspects that are related to our hormones and other chemicals present in our body. So that is what we will be discussing in the biopsychology BPCC 102. Now let's get ahead into the concept and let me just share some intrinsic details about this particular coursework with you. So when we talk about block one, Block 1 primarily covers the field of biopsychology along with the composition of neuron and nerve impulses. So as I said earlier, in Unit 1, we will be discussing the introduction to biopsychology where we will learn the evolution and development of the field, how it came into picture, who were the pioneers, how it was shaped over the period of time. Whereas in Unit 2, we will be discussing neuron and nerve impulses. So here we'll understand about the cells of nervous system, the neurons, different structures, functions and types of neurons. This is going to be a very interesting unit for you all because you'll get to know the most basic and fundamental unit that engages in all the tasks that you perform. So our objective for block one will be to understand the foundation of biopsychology because this discipline is quite complex and it's an emergence between the field of biology and psychology. So it's required for you to pay even more attention to concepts of biology so you can understand how it is influencing your psychology. All right, moving ahead next, we have block two. In block two, we will be studying about the human nervous system. Now you might have learned this in your eighth grade science or your ninth grade science, right? But in this particular unit, we will be focusing on the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system and how the two nervous system affects the things that we do, our lives and divisions of different responsibilities. So we will learn how impairment or how these nervous system functions in order to help us engage in tasks. All right. So that is what we will be focusing in block two. Moving ahead next, we have block three. So when I talk about block three, as I mentioned earlier, here our objective is to understand the two hemisphere of the brain. So our brain is divided like this. So it is centrally divided, right? So there are two laterals of the brain, our right 
hemisphere and left hemisphere. So in brain lateralization, we have unit five, which is called as hemispheric specialization, where we learn how and which hemisphere. So which hemisphere is responsible for speech? Which hemisphere is responsible for writing? Which hemisphere is responsible for memory and language? So all these aspects we will be learning in brain lateralization. All right. Moving ahead next, we have block four, which deals with the concept of glands and behavior. You might have heard, heard that, you know, that person is particularly irritated a bit because they have high testosterone or a person is known to be more aggressive if there are high testosterone or during menstruation cycle, women often experiences mood changes. So why are all these things happening? Why is our mood affected by our hormones or by our chemicals that are present in the body? So that is what we will be learning in this chapter that how does the endocrine system, particularly which contains a lot of ductless hormones, affect our behavior? See, the objective here would be to understand how hormones work and then focus on the different endocrine glands in the body. Along with this, you will learn which gland releases which hormone as well as what is the impact of that hormone on human behavior. So we, it is going to be a lot of biology and psychology mix. So all of you be prepared and always make sure that whenever you are learning a biopsychological concept, do watch videos about it such as you want to learn more about the brain, just look at the structure of the brain. Try to understand what are the things that are in the brain. Now, internet is available to all of us, right? So see the 3D pictures of the brain. There are a lot of exciting things that you all can check. And if you, any of you happens to be in Bangalore, you can all go and check out Nimhan's brain museum it's a fantastic visit for all the budding psychologists and one of you might get interested into the field of biopsychology which is quite enriching as well as multidisciplinary all right so this is all that we will be doing for our bio bpcc 102 and let me just brief you a little about how you can answer the biopsychology questions that you will be getting for your exams so make sure that whenever you are discussing a concept of biopsychology you introduce biopsychology before you frame your main theme or content of the body. So remember, it is very similar to our first coursework that we have done. Always define the concept first. So biopsychology, if you're going to write any answer for that, define what is biopsychology and how that concept is related to this particular discipline in psychology. Make sure that you're learning all the technical terminologies. Over here, this means learning the correct names of glands, areas of brain, as well as different hormones, and chemicals that are present in the body because all these biological terms make a huge difference in terms when the examiner is reading your answer okay also always draw diagrams wherever applicable in brain lateralization there is a chance you can draw the diagrams because that will help you as well to understand also the examiner to decode your answer better okay Always see whenever this is an extra task that you can do. Since biopsychology is an emerging field, you can always read more about it on Google Scholar. And don't use Wikipedia, always use Google Scholar or your reference textbooks. Okay, so make sure that you are reading those scholar articles so that you can cite them later on. Okay, that is something which will definitely help you in terms of navigating the coursework as well as understanding the new developments in the field. All right, make sure that you highlight all the keywords, write topic statements and always try to make your answers more readable by adding flow to them, which means always giving proper paragraph breaks, adding connections connecting words. So English, our English language is necessary while we are writing these answers, correct? So always make sure that you're using words such as furthermore, moreover, however, all these will help you in forming a comprehensive answer. Okay, so that will be all in terms of how you can answer your biopsychology question. And I hope you all are very excited to start this lesson ahead with me. And let's begin the learning. All right, take care.